Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Y'all, let's do some more inexpensive but posh paper crafting. Stay tuned. Welcome everyone. I am always so grateful and so humble that you are choosing to spend a portion of your day with me. And I want to give a special thank you to everyone who has bought me coffee and all of my monthly club members. Because of you, I am able to keep this channel running. I am able to go out and source beautiful materials, beautiful papers, and all of those wonderful things that we're using on this channel. So thank you so very much. So today we're going to make this really cute mailable. And by mailable, I mean when we're finished, we can drop this in the mail to whomever it is we want to send it to. We're going to be using some more of that beautiful wrapping paper. And again, I'll be using scrap wrapping paper on this project. And once we go over the few things that'll be needed to make this mailable, I will give you a closer look at this little cutie. So y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, y'all. So here is a closer look at the outside of that cute little mailable. And the way I'll be sealing this is I'll be sealing mine using a sticker. But when we open this up, this is what we have. We have this wonderful welcome to summer mailable. Basically what you can do with this is you can decorate it however you want for any season, any reason, any gender. And then you can place a mat here in the center for a photograph or for a message. And what I did on mine was I used this sticker but I didn't put it down all the way so that if I do put a photo here, I can tuck it in behind this and then I can put that down. Then here at the bottom, I have a sweet little pocket and in that pocket, we can tuck little stickers or journaling cards or even a small mini note card. Completely up to you how you choose to do yours. But I think this is such a sweet and simple little way of just dropping something in the mail to someone to brighten their day. On this one, I'm not designing it so that we can include a gift card, but if you wanted to, you could include a gift card, but I'm not making mine for a gift card because I don't want to have to do a hard seal on this because if you do place a gift card in it, I would definitely do more than just placing my sticker on the outside because I wouldn't want the card to fall out or for it to be tampered with and removed. So here's what we're going to need to make this little project. But remember, any season, any reason, any gender, go ahead and pull out the papers that you want to use, pull out the stickers that you want to use for whatever occasion, and turn this into what you need for it to be. And so for this project, I've decided to use my photo play stickers, and this is the Excellent Adventure, and that's what I'll be pulling from. Then I need to use a portion of my Dollar Tree poster board. Now you don't have to have the poster board to do this project. I'm using the poster board because it's an inexpensive way to make bunches of these. So I'll be using this as the main body of my project. So here are the measurements of what we're going to need. For the inside liner, I have just regular text weight or lightweight paper and it's scrapbook paper that I got from Hobby Lobby. I have a piece that measures two and three eighths by four and three quarters. I have a piece that measures three and seven eighths by four and three quarters. I have a piece that measures four and three eighths by four and three quarters. Then I have that photo mat on the inside and it measures four and a half by four. Then I have the pocket and it measures three and three quarters by four and a half. And then I have cut that white poster board and it's cut at 11 by five. So that means that you can use your 12 by 12 if you want to cut it down and not use poster board. And then I have my scrap piece of wrapping paper and I have that piece cut at 13 by seven so that I'll have a really nice border going all the way around to work with. But if you're working with your 12 by 12 papers, you can use a piece that measures 12 by seven. And that just simply means you'll have a half an inch border here at the top and the bottom versus the one inch that I'm working with. All right, so I have my double stick tape on the back of this piece and I'm going to just peel it away. And I chose to use tape instead of glue because I don't want to experience any warping and that might happen if I use glue, but I didn't want to take the chance. So I'm going to take this 
place it down, get that nice and stuck, and then I'm going to use my big old spatula to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. Then I'm just going to take these edges and I'm going to fold the edges over, get a nice little crease going, and I'm making sure that I pull this tight to the edge. So then once I have all of my edges folded over, I am just going to take my finger blade and trim in at an angle so that I can then take those pieces and fold them in just like that. So then I'm going to take my tape runner just add some tape and fold over all four sides. So when I fold over, I'm just making sure that I'm pulling it tight so that I have a complete wrap around of that paper. So let's just pull that over. And get it nice and stuck. And I'll do the same thing on this piece. And this is just a great little project that you can send to someone in the mail if you just want to cheer them up. So now that we have our piece, I'm going to bring in my scoreboard. I'm going to place it in on the 11 inch side and we're going to score this at four and at eight and a half. And so now we can take this and we can fold and burnish all of those scores. And this is what you're going to have. So now we're going to bring in our inside liner pieces and we're going to place them down just like this. So I am going to start with my middle piece and this is the piece that measures four and three quarters by four and three eighths. So when I place this down, I'll be placing it down so that it falls inside of these two score marks. I don't want it going over the score mark because I don't want to add any more bulk to that fold. So when I take my piece, I'm just going to place it down just like that. And hopefully you can see when I do this that it is inside of the score marks here. So now I can place my other two pieces and I'm just going to remove the tape that I've put on the back. You can actually use your tape runner for this. I just went ahead and placed some of my tape. So now I can take this piece and I'm going to place it so that it's not on the score mark either, but I can now use that first one as a guide for where to place it coming on the side. So when you look at it, you can see that I don't have any paper in between there, and that's just going to make it easier to fold. And now we're going to do the bottom piece. Take it and do the same thing that I did on the other two. I'm just making sure that I don't have these on my score mark. And so now I have a fun and festive little base to decorate. I'm going to go ahead and just place down that mat in the middle, which measures four and a half by four. And I'm going to do that using my tape runner. You can use double stick tape. But again, I would not use glue because we're working with thin pieces and you don't want any puckering or warping. So now I'll take this piece
and we'll get it placed down. And now I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to create a pocket. So all I'm going to do with mine, guys, I'm just going to cut it on the diagonal. And this isn't something that you have to do. But when I'm putting in pockets like this, for some reason, I always like putting them in on a diagonal. And I think that I want to remove even more. So it's completely up to you how much of that pocket you want to remove, or you don't even have to put a pocket. All right, so then I have a scrap piece, and it really is scrap, and it measures one and a half by six. And I am just going to be using that on this piece. And I'm using this piece because I want a little bit of breakup between this mat and this mat. So I want there to be some separation between these two ivory colors. So I am going to do this very simply. I'm going to take my glue, and this time I am going to use just a little bit of glue because I need to get a new tape runner. I'm out. The one that I was using is now empty, so I need to get another one to replace it out of the drawer. So just cut a piece of scrap if you want to break yours up as well. Then fold it over and trim away that excess. So I am going to take my glue, and this time I am going to use glue because I want this pocket to be permanent. So I am going to take my glue and place my glue along this long edge and this long edge, and then I can take this pocket and place it down inside. I'm going to use my big old spatula to help get that stuck. And so now we have our working canvas. All we need to do at this point is decorate. So I have decided that what I want to do on this one is I want to go with Good Times as the main focal piece right here at the top. So I'm going to take that sticker and put it right there. And already you can see that it's setting the mood for everything that's going to take place on this little mailable. Then I'm going to look at my stickers and I think what I want is I want this one that says adventure. And just like on the other one, I am going to place this sticker right here. But the only part that I'm really pressing down is here at the end because I'll then lift this up and put my photo behind it if I want to use it as a photo mat and then I can put it back down. Then I think I'm going to take one of these little gnomes. We're going to place him right there. And then I'm just going to take another one of my little stickers because I do want to put something else on here. And it's going to say, good day, sunshine. I'm going to put that right there. So you can see just how simple it was for me to create this very quick and easy little mailable. Now I do want to add just a fun little tag right on the inside. And so I pulled this one that says splash into summer. I have some scrap and I'm just going to place it down and I'm going to trim away some of that excess. Now I can tuck that in right there. So now we have a place that we can tuck in our journaling cards or we can tuck in just some inspirational little pieces of ephemera right here, some tags that might make that person feel extra good when they get something so cute in the mail. So then as I was looking at this, I thought, you know what, I want to do just a little bit of something extra right across here. So I am going to take some of this border and I want to put that border right there just so I can have some additional pop of color. So I'm going to trim this away. 
and then I'll take the adventure, put the adventure back down. And now I really like how that color is there. So I'd have a true breakup of all of my colors, but I have this super festive little mailable that I can drop in the mail to someone to help brighten the day. I can make this as a happy birthday. I can substitute out wedding paper and send something to the new couple or the new parents. The possibilities are endless, guys. Just change your paper and turn this into whatever it is you want it to be. So when it's time to close it, we just need to fold it, fold it. Then I'm going to take one of my sweet little stickers. And so I think I'll close it using one of my gnomes. But like I said, I don't want to seal this because I have not filled it in to send out. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take a piece of a backer sheet from one of my strips of tape that I removed and just cover that so that it won't get stuck. Then when I'm ready to actually mail it, I can peel this away and give it a nice stick down. And I would probably place just a little drop of my reptile glue just to make sure that this stays stuck and isn't opened. And then when you're ready to mail it, just flip it over, create yourself a little mailing label, your to and from, put it down and drop this in the mail. It is super, super simple crafting but we have something that is just so gorgeous. And for those of you who are doing craft fairs or you sell items, these also make great little sellers. So give some thought to creating these to sell at your next craft fair or in your Etsy shop or wherever you sell your items. I am going to bring that first one back in so you guys can get a look at all of this wonderful, fun, festive goodness these little mailables when received in the mail by whomever is going to get it, they will actually love it. And it is sure to bring a smile to the face. So guys, I hope that you have liked this fun project using our wrapping paper scraps once again and some stickers and look at what we're able to create. If you have liked this project, please hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.